OK, thank you very much. Shut up. Otherwise, you get free tickets to next week's show. <laughs> well, Nicholas, you're obviously not short of a bob or two. Uh, I read that your company... You should have told me I wouldn't have come. Oh, they had no, three it's three most interesting. Games last Besides, yeah, only three. he was a pupil oh, of mine. Oh, well, I can't win them all. I read something where it said you came from a very boring background. Well, go on. Boris. Yeah. Yeah, I came from a very boring background. My, uh, my father worked in a factory. My mother was uh, just a housewife. I, uh, I left school, bummed around a bit, worked at this and that, and wound up in the games business. My autobiography is going to be a very short book. Not that I have any intention of writing one. But a millionaire at your age, I'm saying you've got to the top very quickly, haven't you? Inventing all those games? Very quick now. I, um, I started Sorcerer ten years ago, and I don't invent the games. Other people do that. I just market them. You don't invent the games? Well, I think we have a case of false pretenses here. What do you think? Just a businessman. But very successful. You've got to be very ruthless. Ruthless? No, I... <laughs> no, I don't think so. But apparently, um, you're very good at poaching inventors from other companies. I, uh, I offer them better contracts. What would you say if someone offered you a better contract? Well, I'd say about time too. <laughs> L listen, these guys that you uh, employ to make up these games, what are they really like? So, uh, given the relatively low level of uh, product-specific advertising in your industry, how do you explain the success of one game as against another? I don't. I can't. But there's got to be some explanation, in scientific terms. I'm sure there is. That's your department. Perhaps you might find some connections in the work of play theorists, such as Huizinga. What team does he play for? Johann Huizinga is the author of Homo Ludens, a study of the play element in culture. His theory, much simplified, is that... Look, I sell things. They happen to be games. Now, they might be symbolic, they might be keys to the subconscious mind and all that, but what I do is get your conscious mind to hand over the cash in the shop. If I don't, I'm out of business. As I said, I don't create them, I sell them. Mr. Thorne, where do you think the future lies for the games? Will they all be computer-based? I doubt it. See, there's basically two kinds of game. There's the ones you play on your own. Computer games are a perfect example. But the other kind of game, like the old traditional board game, that's more of a family thing. You bring people together to play. And that's still a huge market. So uh, I suppose the future lies with coming up with clever variations on those two basic ideas. Does that answer your question? Thanks for coming along. It's extremely useful. Your philosophy of games is most interesting. Oh dear, your chauffeur's not back yet. No, he won't be back. I'll give him the rest of the day off. Oh, I'll get someone to phone for a taxi. Don't worry. I've made other arrangements. This is the arrangement. My friend Faye. How do you drink? This is the learned professor I told you about. He thinks I'm quite a philosopher in my own way. All men are philosophers. And women? Women are arrangements.
hide and seek. That our little game. Well, now you're it. <laughs> best. You pay the most, eh? You're a smart fella. I checked around. Nice and discreet, and you were right. Nobody knows about this setup yet. Yuppie heaven it's gonna be, isn't it? Whole bloody place pre-wired for their cute little mini micros, doing their little share deals, accessing their little accounts, plotting their little biorhythms. I may move in myself. Don't think I couldn't afford it. Right. It's playtime. Take it easy, will you? Freddy Cat. How was the seminar? Oh, bluffed my way through it, my usual charm. Where are we going? Somewhere special. You'll see. Why? What day is this? Friday. Mm-hmm. The day we go away for the weekend? Yes. OK, I give up. Seven months ago today. What? <laughs> so we're celebrating. Why not? Did you think we'd last this long? I knew we would. We'll keep your eyes on the road and we won't last much longer. I know, I know. I'm telling you it's easier to access GCHQ. Which I have. Oh, come on, come on. Bugger it. This one's a killer. First, there's all the usual barbed wire and the traps. I know how to fix that, it's easy. Then there's the uh, sophisticated stuff. That's easy too. I'm into accounts now. There's a final set of codes in here and they're random. I mean private, personal. We're stuck, my friend. Or rather, you are. Lovely view, isn't it? I prefer you. I hope you're paying for this. I've only got about a hundred quid on me. Remember, you've got one chance only. One wrong guess, and it's good night Vienna. The whole access will close down. <laughs> 